Good evening. I am starting various segments of Did You Know? Tonight I'm coming to you with Did You Know About Student Loans? My name is Sonia Brown and I'm coming to you tonight to ask you, did you know? Did you know that when you're trying to qualify for a mortgage, when you're getting pre-approved for a mortgage, they look at your student loan debt and say, hey, we're going to calculate a portion of this into your debt, which makes your debt higher than it normally would be. Because most of the time we look and we see um, we have our student loan debt is deferred or we're paying or it's been deferred. There's some people, you know, certain people that have had their student loan debt deferred for a long time. And now that we're in COVID, they're still deferred. Some of them are deferred. But if by chance you're paying on your student loan debt, it's no longer a thing where they use 1% of your student loan debt and add that to your current debt to say, hey, well, your debt right now is like $1,200. So if you had a student loan debt of maybe $160,000, they would take 1%, which is $1,600, and add it. To that $1,200. So now you're at $2,800, which lessens your buying power. So what I'm here to tell you tonight is now they're only using the payment. And when I say that is if you are with uh, Aunt Sally, that's how, I, that's who I know her as, but you might know her as Navian. If you're with Navian, and you have called or you have set up an IBR or whatever, one of the programs that they have available for you, or if you're making straight payments, you can tell your mortgage lender, hey, I'm only paying XYZ. I'm only paying $160 a month. And they'll take that $160 and they'll add it to your debt. Now, $160 added to your debt is a whole lot better than $1,600, right? (laughs) Yay us. Then now you have to look at Fed loan. Fed loan is deferred because of the current situation of the world with COVID and everything that's going on. They're deferred until May, 2022. So in that particular case, they're going to take a half a percent. So let's say you owe Fed loan a hundred thousand, right? So now they're going to take $500 from that and add it to your debt. Right. So now you have uh, the money from Navient, which is your monthly payment. And then you have the money from Fed loan. You know, most people do have both. Some people don't. So it all depends. But that would be the case. So it would be a half a percent on all the loans that you have a zero payment for. Or they would take the monthly payment from whatever loans that you're paying monthly and add that to your debt. Did you know that? I just wanted to know if you know. I found out, not today, but I found out. So I figured I'd share it with you so you'll know. Because you need to know before you go, right? My name is Sonia Brown and I'm with United Real Estate. And it was good talking to you tonight. And I'll be talking to you again next week to find out if you knew something else with a new did you know. Enjoy your evening.